How's it going? Hello, Je uh, Jesse and um, Anthony. That's passion for art and grayscale painting. Thank Hello. You Today is National Learn About Butterfly Day. Not just Butterfly Day, it's Learn About Butterfly Day. So I'll, during the live stream, I'll be reading some facts about butterflies. And, and we're creating art and with any any kind of art and I'm, I'm getting at my butterfly ephemera, butterfly stickers, butterfly stencils. I don't think I have any stamps of butterflies. I may have stencil that's a butterfly and I could use that because sometimes it's hard drawing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty yeah. sure I have. And we finally have background music. Yeah. But the StreamYard now provides around seven to ten choices of background music. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm so glad. Yeah, that makes it nice. Yeah, I'm just drawing in some uh, parts of this this butterfly here. I thought that was a pretty one. Okay, okay I can't see yet, but let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all you can see is my watercolors massive, right now. Massive, massive echo. I know, guess what, Grace? I'm going to have to contact StreamYard. Because the echo happens even before we're on air and even before we're on YouTube. There's an echo in it. And it's only echoing when I talk. Is that right? Not, it, it doesn't echo when Mary talks. Is that right? You can hear me without an echo. Can you even hear me? I unplugged my um, mic, my one mic. I don't I'll tell you the truth. I don't know the if echo I have started it. even before we were even on YouTube or even on the air. Right. Um, I don't know what so my. We're gonna have to contact Streamyard this week. It's a it must it's a Streamyard issue, not a YouTube. It's a Streamyard issue. Now mine is going through my USB. So that must be my up, upper camera up here. The one that's showing all this stuff. Going. Uh, let me try something with the setting. So I'm, I'm going to. Hold on. Hold on. How about. Oh, that's even worse. I hear you. Yeah, that's bad. That was, that was real bad. <laughs> oh my. I sounded like an alien. Yeah, it sounded like outer space. Try this. Try this. Hello? 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 Yeah, it's still echo? got a little, little bit. I, I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it too. Okay, let me turn that. Of these on here, I think. How about now? That sounded a little bit better. Grace Gale says. Oh, you I'm just heard the end. So I'm going to have to just contact Streamyard because I'm going to have to contact Streamyard. 
Let me, okay, let me put something else on my audio. Okay, so I'm going no echo no echo oh no, I echo heard no. myself. did you no, I didn't I hear, hear it I hear the echo, I hear the echo. huh Oh, okay. So Grayscale, um, if you asked him something, he had to answer the door. Okay, yeah, he couldn't hear you. Grace still couldn't hear you. I can hear you. I know right now you can because I can't go back to the setting, but I changed it to a different setting and I was asking, okay, Grace Gail. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to ask you. If, I'm gonna, I'll type it in the chat if you can. Hold on, I'm changing the setting. Okay, so I didn't hear you there. Yeah, and I don't think Grayscale heard either. I'm trying to, okay, I was doing another thing. I don't know what else to try. It's like you're freezing. Maybe you need to go out and come back in. I'm freezing now. Yeah, you were freezing there for a minute. Even back. Even
Hello. Okay. I don't see you. Let's see here. Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Everything looks fine. I mean, I mean, it, I'm not freezing. I don't think now, but of course, I still hear the echo. You still hear it because it sounds pretty good here. Grayscale, can you hear the echo? Uh, he said, yes, he can, he, he can hear the echo. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm not hearing it as much. facts about butterflies but it's too annoying about my echo wait how about this mary you leave and come back and let me see if you're not here if i still echo all right let me leave hold on one second I don't figure out how to leave. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, see, now see no echo, right? I don't, of course, I don't hear a gay scale. Can you hear an echo now? I don't hear the echo. Now I do not hear echo. How about Grace Grace Gill? You don't do you hear me echo do you hear me echo? I'm betting you don't. Do you hear me echo? See? He's he's saying it's on Mary No, see? Mary, you can come back. Oh, uh, maybe I bring her back, yeah. Okay, yeah, there was no echo. So it's somehow coming from my my part. How in the heck? I don't know what to do. You well, think I it's a video capture? Very skilled. Do you think it's coming from that? I, I, wait, are you are you, are you, are you live streaming with your video camera? I'm only live streaming with you. No, are you live streaming with your video camera? I mean, like, I mean, are you using your video camera for the live streaming? Uh, I have two cameras going. I have one that has my face. And that's then what the it is. You, that's, it only started ever since you started having two cameras. Okay, let me see here. Um, let me unplug this. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know what. Hello. Okay. Yes, no echoing. That's it. There's no echoing now.
Oh, there's no echoing now. Grayscale, there is no echoing in there. I, I know I don't hear it. It's her second camera that was causing a problem. You don't hear any echoing now, right, Grayscale? Grayscale says Mary may need to wear headphones. Wait, Ma I don't know. I don't think Mary can hear. Hello, Mary, can you hear me? I don't. I don't know if she stepped away from her camera. Wait. It looks like she stepped away. Is Mary back yet? Mary, are you back yet? She stepped away. Yeah, I'm glad we figured out the problem. Disable audio on the other camera. Yeah, I I did disable the audio, but I guess it's still because it was plugged into the uh, webcaster. So I just won't use that. That's all. Okay. Oh, God, so glad we solved the problem. Yeah, it's good now. Okay. It's too bad that's the problem because you wanted to have two cameras, but. Well, that's all right. Nobody needs to see me, really. <laughs> And still, for your main for your main purpose of when you, for you when you live stream, I don't know if you're gonna have that. I don't know if you have that problem. What, I mean, if you were to live stream on your own, I don't know if you'd have that problem. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know because it was yeah, yeah. actually. It seemed like it was echoing a little bit last night. So I don't know. We no, I did not hear that. But there oh, was, okay. when I listened to your premiere, there was no echoing. Okay, because um, yeah, I had used that then. You know. So. No, I I listened to the whole thing and no, nope, there was no echoing. On, at least maybe you only heard it on your end. Yeah, I I probably just heard. Oh, just here and there it would echo. It wasn't like consistent, you know. Hey, oh Mary, so when yeah. you do acrylic painting, so yeah. now acrylics dry darker, so. Okay, what is your remedy? I, somebody told me, well, which I already, I mean, I've been painting on paper recently, so I did not gesso my paper. I was not gessoing my paper. Somebody, one of the um, YouTube acrylic painter experts, she said, uh, make sure you're working on a gesso background. That will prevent the dulling of your colors. Well, okay, so I was not gessoing my paper, but yeah, I have not worked on gessoed canvas recently. I mean, do you, do you have, do you, do you have remedies for, well, yeah, usually when I paint on acrylic, it's already, I mean, with acrylic, it's already gessoed. Yeah, pre, pre, -back, pre gessoed factory, pre primed canvas. Yeah. I mean, do you ever have problems with dulling of colors, your acrylics? Well, it, it doesn't dull. Um, you have to just be careful that your brush is clean. Yeah. You know, uh, um, oh, that, okay. you know, if the water gets too dirty, it could, it could dull it. Um, okay. but you know, uh, Jerry or he paints with the dirtiest of water and 
his doesn't so, though. No, here's here's what I'm talking about. Like so when I paint it, it looks bright, it's vibrant, and then as it dries, it dulls. Oh yeah, that's weird. So okay, I've been paint I haven't painted on canvas recently, so I, I so now I just can't remember, but I've only been painting on paper in the past few weeks and so I I'm gonna just I'll just on my paper, but um the, the other thing is um Oh, here's the other thing. So you paint, okay, suppose I want to paint a light color, like yellow or white, okay, yellow on top of a dark color. Okay, yellow's transparent. I know that's why that does that. Okay, yeah. so like, okay, no, suppose a light pink. I'm painting like a light pink on top of a darker color. And it seems like it seeps into the dark color and gets dull, it gets duller. It doesn't hold, like the when I first put it on, when I first paint it on, it's bright light uh, pink, yeah. just how I want it. Just how I yeah. want it. It kind of fades out. Yeah. Uh, probably because it's more transparent. Well, because I know it's, I mix it, like, I don't know if it's transparent. So, because I'm using titanium white mixed with the pink and you would think that would uh, not be. Yeah, you would think, yeah. But that's the but that is the nature of acrylics. No matter what, they do dry darker, right? Yes, they do. Yes, they do dry dark darker. So well, then, what is it like? So, so you should paint something lighter than what you wanted it. Because well, like if you're gonna lay pink on top of a darker color, I would yeah. make sure I would put gesso in with the pink instead of white. White. Really? Yeah. Then maybe that'll. Kind of be more vibrant. Oh, okay. I'll try just that. Yeah. Sometimes, oh. like, um, if it's that's my my idea. You know, just do oh. some gesso with it. Oh, okay. I might try that. Yeah. See how that works. Yeah. Or okay. Or suppose it's a color that has no. You didn't. I didn't mix white with. So then I, the colored, you know, when you first paint it on, you know, it's vibrant, but I, like you said, like acrylics dry darker. So that means do you should paint your whole paint, your whole paint. I mean, no, I mean, that's a color that I don't want to mix white with. It's just a vibrant color and I didn't want to mix white, white with it. Yeah. So then I'm like, yeah, cause pink actually, when you put white to it, it just don't, you know, it tells it out too much. That can be a pain in the neck too, you know. Um, pink's a hard one. Like all those lighter colors, when you add white, it just like kind of like fades them out a lot. Yeah, when you add white, yes, it does. Like it's a hot pink, it's a hot fluorescent pink by Holbein. It's a good quality. It's good quality fluorescent paint that will not fade over time. I I was recommended this by one of the expert acrylic YouTube YouTube acrylic painters, and she says all the other fluorescent paints you got to watch out because they're gonna they might look bright for like a week or maybe even a month, but they will fade. But she's always suggests the Holbein, which I bought, the Holbein fluorescents. So, uh -huh. so the Holbeins aren't, they're not supposed to, they're not, I mean, yes, they, they do get dull when you add white to them, but no, they're not supposed to fade over time. But I do notice that the pink is tra kind of translucent color. And I, and so, yeah, you want it to be thicker. You want it to go on like hot pink and yet, it, it is kind of translucent so it's so yeah. the one thing that i was i i was doing on my one of my recent paintings was because i was noticing that i said okay well i'm not going to paint some kind of background dark background color first i'm gonna mm -hmm. i'm drawing it out i drew where the shapes are where the spaces are i will paint only these colors here and that color here i'm going to try not to paint like a translucent color uh, so I can avoid painting a translucent color over whatever ever a color I mean that that helps somewhat but you can't totally prevent everything with that okay so grayscale says that acrylics by nature will flatten so uh, when dry add the white with transparent color wait say that again he says like they'll dull or they kind of flatten by nature what so, flattened what flattened by nature the acrylics oh okay and he said that um add whites with transparent colors and he said wait when maybe just um when it dries like the darker shade dries then add your lighter shade yeah and it might take a couple um 
a couple and, coats. Yeah. And also a couple coats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm gonna try the gesso. You're saying mixing gesso with the yeah, I will try that one. Yeah, try the gesso and see what happens because I've used that before. It helped because gesso is a little thicker. And then um when you varnish, that also does that doesn't that make the, the colors vibrant again? Well, I don't varnish that much. It just kind of gets a gloss to it. Oh, yeah. But um, I don't usually, I mean, I, there are some things that I varnish. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I don't always varnish my. Right. My I, I don't have a lot of experience with varnishing recently. I, I Yeah, because. I varnish my I varnish my alcohol in paintings, and I figured out when I'm supposed to do that because when it's an alcohol based varnish spray, because I, I have spray varnish, that the alcohol will reactivate the alcohol ink. So you so then I learned that I learned by re research that there's a you first use a, this fixative oh yeah the fixative spray and then you can put spray the varnish on top. But that's I'm just talking about alcohol ink paint. So with varnish yeah with um. Yeah, because I was thinking I don't need to varnish my like unless I wanted the colors to come up again. I don't know if that's been on paper. I'm, right now, I just need these five paintings on paper because they're gonna they might be shipped, and I don't want to paint on stretch canvas because they might be shipped worldwide. So I'm trying to paint either nine by twelve or or eleven by fourteen on paper because I already have the shipping materials for that, and that's relatively reasonable shipping. But usually, you don't varnish. Uh, an acrylic painting on paper because it's going to go under it's going to go under glass or plexiglass oh yeah so, yeah that's true and yeah. i think the varnish might even make it stick to the the glass or something mm. yes i mean I, that's a possibility that i'm just thinking that probably that might happen yeah that's true oh no grayscale has a lot of experience painting on paper he paints on what i paint on yes it, I paint on either watercolor paper, 140 pound, or I paint on mixed media paper. So I know Grayscale has a lot of experience with that. So that's true. Yeah. Do you yeah. varnish your uh, Grayscale? Do you varnish your paintings on paper if you were going to sell it? Like when you know it's going to be framed under glass or plexiglass? Plexiglass would. Do you know? Does that? Should I just? I, I shouldn't. I don't need to varnish my painting, my acrylic paintings on paper. Is that right? See what he said. I was putting my gesso away. Hi, Goswina. Hi, Goswina. I'm glad you're feeling. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better. Yeah, that's good. That had to be painful. Creepies. I'm using a watercolor pencil. Oh, I love watercolor pencils. Yeah, I'm trying this out to see how it works here for me. For these uh, thinner lines. Oh yeah, you can get some fine lines with a watercolor yeah. pencil. I've had this journal probably since, since I started on YouTube, maybe six, six or more years ago, about around six years ago, and um, now I'm finally coming to the end of it because this is not the only journal I have. I have a journal with different kinds of paper and also journals with in different sizes. So finally, I'll be doing a flip through of this sometime in the future. Yeah, I um, most of mine are pretty new. I only have a couple that I've. Uh, one that I finished 
Uh -huh. And that one that I've been working through. These are just uh, postcards I'm working on right now. I can't believe that the brand of paper can make all the difference in the world because I'm doing a, these acrylic paintings on paper. So I, I'm, I thought, okay, I mean, I've been using Canson paper and I have no problem. Canson mixed media paper, or it uh -huh. could be Canson watercolor paper, either one or the other. And no problem, no problem. Then I'm, so I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I just want to buy some more paper. And then I saw a deal like, oh, you get 60 sheets with this other brand. I never even heard of this brand. 60 sheets of this 140 pound watercolor paper and in 60 sheets for like $15. And I'm like, oh, okay. I tried it out one sheet of it the other day. It was horrible. It started peeling on me as if it was oh. drawing paper. Oh, wow. I was, it, it peeled on me when, especially when I was using my acrylic markers for certain details, I was using acrylic paint markers. It peeled so bad. And then I'm like, okay, this paper is horrible. I can't believe they call this 140 pound watercolor paper. It's acting like drawing paper. It was terrible. Oh, Just geez. all because of the brand makes all the difference. It does. It's some it unknown does. brand. Oh my. Yeah, so I'm getting back. That's what happened with that one journal. It kept peeling. I don't know why, you know. I'm not doing such a great job on this, but um, Wait, I'm not a very good... Media paper with your, is your journal drawing? That will happen with drawing paper, but I'm talking about this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be watercolor. 140 yes. pound watercolor paper and it was peeling. That's a shame. So I am, I'm, I, I already, I made the... I made the arrangements. I'm sending it back, and I know I used one page, one sheet of it. But I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna try to wrap it up in the cellophane because it came in a two pack. And then I, I have cellophane like that, and I'm just gonna. But I'll be so careful now. Now I'm only getting name brand paper. Yeah, Hanson or Strathmore. yeah and then i used clear gesso i said okay let me put some clear gesso on this maybe that's going to help so in the middle of the painting i i put clear gesso on it and then the, i was like okay i'm done with the painting so far and I, I probably i might work on this later but let me take this off the board because i had i had put rolled up and i've never had i mean this is artist tape that i put under rolled it up underneath not to make white borders or anything and the clear gesso, since I'm not used to doing this, the clear gesso got underneath the edges and and stuck it to the board. And so now I ripped some of the edges. So I can remedy it by trim, trimming it, but it's going to mess up the side, you know, my composition a little bit, you know? Yeah. And so I'm like, that paper is just bad luck. <laughs> That's a shame. Oh. At least it wasn't a, I mean, yeah, so it's a, I know it's a shame, though. Luckily, yeah. it only happened to one painting. I hate when stuff like that happens, especially when you're depending on, you know, yeah. things to work out. Especially when it comes as a total surprise when, okay, it's 140 pound watercolor paper and it acted like drawing paper. Yeah. And the weight of it, when I took the sheet off, did not, it was not thin. It did not, I, it didn't call my attention. It was like, yeah, this feels like 140 pound watercolor. This feels like it. And it didn't, it didn't. So I was, so I was like unexpecting that. Yeah. Not expecting that. Oh, it, you got a text delay? You guys refresh. Anthony, if you're having a bad text delay, refresh your screen. You can also leave and come back and, and also leave and come back and also um, refresh your screen. And that helps with text delays. light gray gesso oh your brighter colors will show more if you add light gray gesso oh there you go that's a good idea light gray okay i've seen gray gesso but i'll try to get light okay i'm gonna try, i guess try to try to get light gray gesso 
Really? Can it be just gray, light gray paint? Well, you say Jessa, maybe I should do all of that. Oh, we can't, you're off, you're out of frame, Mary. We can't see your painting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Thanks. Is that better? No, he said, oh, let me see that. Yes. Okay. Grayscale says, no, the text delay is on your end. It's a delay. I answered your question instantly. Oh, okay. I refresh my screen. I just refresh my screen. Oh, good, good, good. He says, yes, light gray paint will work. Good, because I have a whole big jar contain. I have a whole big jar of uh, light gray, or I don't know if it, I don't know if it's light enough gray. Oh, shit, look at the gray I have. Oh, it's downstairs. Anyway, I will try that gray, or and if I have to make it lighter, I could add gesso or white to it to make it a little lighter gray. In here, if I have a steady hand. Here's my butterfly stencils. Then I'm going to start the picture with a bird and a bird in the nest stencil. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, go kind of. Or should I start with, okay, I'm going to ask the chat, chat and Mary, should I start with a white background or should I make a color background, uh, some colored background? We'll see, What's I like that color. Mary say? Oh, sorry, what? I like color in the background, but. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've heard yellow ochre can also can be a very nice neutral. Let me try this. It's a neutral that a lot of people don't know about. Okay, I will use my yellow ochre in the background. Here. Today is, um, I could, well, once I get started with my picture, because I'm way behind. Um, today is National Learn About Butterflies Day. Not just Butterflies Day, but National Learn About Butterflies Day. Everybody. It's a butterfly day. Because spring is just around the corner. We're going to see it start seeing. And I didn't really know this. Everybody else probably knew this. I only thought that bees were the pollinators, but butterflies are too. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not the only one that didn't know that. Well, you know what? It would it would seem logical. It makes sense. But yeah, you know, like logical, but you don't think about it. Yeah, you always hear about how bees are the pollinators. I have never yeah. heard a lot of talk about how butterflies are also the pollinators. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Goswin, I bet you have a lot of information about butterflies or something. She has, she's a big gardener, a big flower. I think she does vegetables too. Are you a gardener, Mary? Well, I used to be. Um, it's hard for me to do it now, but um, that one year after I planted all my beautiful uh, tomatoes and the deer ate it, I gave up. I <laughs> thought that was it. I refuse. Yeah, to. deers can be so pesky, and then you have to, or all the other animals, and then you have to try all these things like, oh, beer, like pouring beer or something. There's all kinds of things to like try to keep wildlife away. Yeah, I mean, it was just, I mean, they just couldn't eat one tomato. They oh. had to take a bite out of every stinking oh, tomato. right. Yes. And our oh, neighbors, what? they just, they didn't, I don't think they planted vegetables, but our neighbors had some nice kind of like plant sh like hosta plants shrubbery and the oh. deer we have a lot even though you would never think like there's no woods near us but there's a lot of deer around here and so they just totally ate up all of it all it's my neighbor's up. plants oh that's so upsetting yeah and there's nothing you can do about it except unless you're going to try some of those kind of remedies that people 
there's all kinds of remedies you can try for keeping deer away. I had I had a fence up. <laughs> How big? They can jump over stuff. I know. I mean, it's just like, and they were laying inside there. It was exactly. just like. Exactly. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of deer that visit our backyard. Like families of deer. Yeah. Oh, I was so upset. But that was the first time that you had planted it? You had not um, had that problem before? Uh, well, my my garden never turned out it took me years to finally get the ground oh, in good shape. Right. and i finally got it in good shape and that's what happened uh, uh, -huh. uh you know like i i had a um what do they call those uh where you put your kind of garbage to oh you know. yes my mom used to do that for the recycling mulch. Yeah. you create your own mulch uh -huh. I was so upset. It just really blew my mind. Um, now my mom was a huge organic gardener for years, every year, every year, every year. And um, I don't like gardening, but she was a huge organic gardener. So she, her property, one of the houses, I mean, the house that she last lived in was backed up to state forest. So yet she knew how to, uh, she, whatever, she was an organic gardener. She, she knew how to deal with, of course, deer and all those kind of wildlife. She was fighting all them, but that she didn't let that stop her. Cause um, I don't know. She just like tried all different kinds of remedies to keep all that wildlife away. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, I tried. Uh, that was my only thing, you know. And after that, I just had no desire to do it anymore. It just had me so mad, you know. Cause you work so hard, and then, you know, something like that happens. Yeah, what about flower garden? Now I have a flower garden. Um, I do. I I have. Uh, I love uh, clematis. Um, uh -huh. I have some poppies. I have uh, some irises. I have lilies of the valley. I have a hard time here with roses. Uh, roses don't seem to want to grow here. Uh -huh. Uh, get like some kind of fungus and I've tried everything to get rid of that stuff but it didn't doesn't help so yeah and um, what else do I have um, hi Marlene oh. TV Marlene is here with one of her channels Marlene TV hi Marlene how are you I have those day lilies. I like those. Um, you know, so I got a couple different things. But you have to be careful with that too, because the doggone deer want to eat those too. Oh, yeah. or... oh and Grayscale says um, moths and butterflies are pollinators. Oh, and he says sprinkle crack on the foliage. That'll fix them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't go out and buy that stuff though. <laughs> I kind of stay away from that stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an illegal substance anyway. Yeah, I, I'm not looking to go to jail or anything. There's all other kinds of remedies you can try, though. Uh, they said uh, pepper, Irish spring soap, you know, all kind of stuff, but I haven't tried any of that. <laughs> oh, my. That's so funny. No, I'm not. I am not a big gardener. I think one year I was actually had an apartment and I, oh, I had an, a third floor apartment in a woman's house and she had a, she had, I think she had some, I, that was one year that I did try doing a garden. I can't remember like vegetable garden. I can't remember how well that turned out. I probably didn't because, but then, um, I had never tried doing vegetable garden. I just, um, and Oh yes, in my own. And then when I had my house for seven years, I, I, yeah, so I had some, I, I had a few flower beds that I would just, just try to put flowers in there. Like no big, no big thing. And oh, and here we have big planter, big pot, big giant pots that I try to put the flowers in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I like petunias and, and yeah, kind of I have thing. to do something hardy. I have a black thumb. I had, I bought like one year, 
I one year I bought, not recently, about only 20 years, around 20 years ago, last, I bought like $150 worth of house plants and they lasted a few years and they all eventually died off. Oh no. And it's like, I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't, it's like, I just, I have no idea what I did wrong. And like, and eventually they just die off. And, and so I know that I have to have hardy. So I get petunias, um, sometimes, yes, geraniums, petunias. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, any and then a spike some of this because that looks nice when you have the spiky plants in the middle of round those rounder like in the in the middle of of rounder plants around it. That's nice. And yeah, this past year that the yes the they uh they held up really good. But my husband helps. He knows how much mulch to put in. Like when you first plant, you put all this mulch in the planter, and you what how much mulch you are supposed to put in proportion to the. Uh, like the, to the other dirt and well they they lasted pretty good actually he was in he actually did the water he actually took care of them it's not me oh that's nice <laughs> yeah well Steve is not one to take care of a garden um. oh, <laughs> well he just did it simple of I mean only the basics of well he helped me plant them we planted them together but he knew uh -huh. about he knew about the proportions of mulch that you're supposed to put in and all that oh yeah yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I've got so much yard work. I, I like to work out in the yard, but I just can't do it. I with this stupid thing that's going on right now. Because last year I we had like when we first moved here, we had stones all everywhere like it was the landscaping. Uh. Well, after so long, grass seems to grow in those rocks because I guess with dirt, you know, and things like that, it just kind of disintegrates it really oh uh, so it breaks up the rocks well it it's like leaves and things like that because we have trees and and the trees get in there and then they like kind of uh you know disintegrate and they make like dirt you know that's that's how coal gets formed too i guess with the dirt some of that stuff so um anyways so I start getting grass in between these rocks, and I I started with some landscaping um, uh, stuff, you know, that, what do they call that, like, um, oh, bags, you know, plastic, plastic, landscaping plastic, and uh, I couldn't finish it last year. I have to, I have like two areas that I have to get done. I have got to get that done this year, and I hope I can. Because I was almost done with the one, and then it, I really got bad, and I couldn't finish it. So, hopefully this year I can get out there. I mean, it's, I don't know. I mean, it depends on what happens when I go to this new doctor. We'll see what he does for me. I know. I hope so. Yeah, because it's just ridiculous. Like, today was really bad. And I don't know why it's bad today, because yesterday was real good. And then today is really bad, and it's a beautiful oh. day. Oh, yeah. I hear echoing again. Echoing again. Ugh. Not that bad. It's it's not as bad as before, but okay. do you guys hear? Maybe yeah, I bet they don't hear. You guys, do you hear me echoing now? Because we were all fine, and no, that just yeah. that happened just for a minute. And now I don't hear it. Yeah. Maybe I was too close to my camera. Because mm -hmm. I, I plugged it in a different way now. And I'm using my, um, my, my, uh, blue ball. Oh, Arlene is stopping by on her lunch break. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's so nice. I'm glad you stopped by. Yesterday I went to bed early because my dogs get me up. You get to bed you how early? Like super? Like you say you always go to bed early. Yeah, right after the uh, premiere last night, I went to bed. Uh. <laughs> I mean, they're killing me with their <laughs> getting up so early and everything. They're driving me crazy. Those dogs. I have to go get the, my dryer because my paint's not drying. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, I'll entertain for a while. Oh, she's out of focus. Yes, she is, isn't she? Okay, we'll have to tell her. We are just not having a good time today, are we? Wow. Things are just not working out too good. Oh, boy. Oh, thank you. Well, um, I'm not sure how Saturdays went, um, but Sunday, that guy was very interesting, the photographer. And him painting icons, I wish he would have showed some of those because I would have loved to have seen those. Even though he... Oh, it's very busy on YouTube. Do you think that's what's causing some of this? I don't know. I mean, I'm never busy. I never get anybody coming over. I, I was surprised I had five people last night. That was awesome. Because normally I don't get too many <laughs> coming in. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, this week I'm just having one person um, and she's going to bring a, another person with her. She's an artist and that's on Sunday. Uh, so I'm, I can't wait to interview her because she's, she's putting together another a show or an exhibit with this girl that she's going to be with. So I think it'll be a little bit of fun too. I think, you know, artists are more colorful. Um, a lot of times like musicians, they tend to be uh, really good with their music, but they have a hard time talking. So, um, I've, I've only interviewed like three people, well, probably more. I've probably interviewed more, but I can't remember. Three people that really uh, were pretty good at interviewing because I, I think they're used to it, you know. When I interviewed David Gogo, he was very good. Um, Derek Woods was very good, and my son-in-law was very good. Um, yeah, so it just depends on the person too I think you know how they are how they interview okay, back. I'm gonna hey. try this. okay you're out of focus Who, me? yes mm. We're having a show I am. let me see let me see I didn't have it on 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 we're having a hard time today, Diana. I don't I know where know. Well, you know, we have those days sometimes, but we solved that audio problem. Yes, I have to remember that now that when we uh, do our lives, not to put myself in there. Okay, I have to dry this first. Oh. Mm. all these new brushes I I think these are watercolor brushes because I'm so good at watercolor okay okay so Gus Wiener, you're a really big gardener right My father always had a garden. Always. Well, my mother did, but not flowers. She grew vegetables and some and fruit. Okay. And peanuts. Peanuts. Oh my oh, god. Oh, she grew everything. Peanuts, pumpkins, 
vegetables, some, some, mostly vegetables, some fruit, berries, like different bears, strawberries, different kinds of berries, and a, a few fruit trees. Wow. She might as well have been a farmer. She was huge. She, she would grow so many, like, that, so many stuff that, like, she, instead of canning, she liked freezing. Like, she froze the, all the extra vegetables and then gave stuff away because she just grew, because she, she enjoyed it, not because... I'll, I mean, she grew many, much more than we needed. Uh -huh. And then she made zucchini bread. You know, zucchini can go crazy, oh. like really multiplies. So um, I love zucchini bread. Me too. Well, see, over here, I never had any luck with zucchini. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like here, it was it's hard to grow stuff. I And this used to be a farmland. Oh, and, why do you think maybe it's insecticide, pesticide left well, over? Um, yeah, there's something wrong with the ground here. Um, huh. Because when I lived over in Whitaker, we never had problems. I could grow zucchini. Oh. Um, you know, nothing would harm anything. But here, ugh. Yeah. Oh, and Steve, Steve doesn't garden? Oh, no. He cuts the grass. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts that. That's about all. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it's starting to turn out a little bit okay. But... I'm just trying to get started here. Oh. This is a, this is harder than I expected. What, drawing a butterfly? You're talking about yeah, because there's so much of the watercolor. You say watercolor is not your thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've never taken a watercolor class? Um, I took one class, but I really don't like it. Uh, I never really liked watercolor because oh. the way you know you have to control it. It's so hard to control. And I now never, it, you can never paint light over dark. Right. If you made a mistake, never mind. You cannot paint light over dark. Goodness. No, it won't work. Um, so I was watching some YouTube and I saw that how people paint with watercolor and I thought, well, that's about how I did it. So I'm just gonna try it again. But I don't consider myself a watercolor artist, that's right. for sure. After, you know, I've worked so long with the uh, acrylic. Right. I just feel I'm better with that. Do you use a, a re wettable, whatever they call it, re wettable palette? I have Masterson. Do you? I, I, have I don't one like of those. it because. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. What? No, yeah, yeah, I have one of those, yeah. But I don't like it. I like to. I like. Uh, I like to use plates because one plate I have, I put my cool colors, and another plate I put my warm colors. And probably if I used a lot of neutrals, I'd have a third plate for my neutrals. But I don't. I usually just have a plate for my warm, a plate for my cold. And when I can switch off, like okay, I'm using this color now. I switch. That master pen palette is so big. I don't, I'm not in a big working space. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's this big, and it's not like it's not. Like I have no space to set it down for for to like because i could see how i would do it i would like put one half warm and one half cool and i would probably switch it around and switch sides well anyway i don't have the, the workspace that i'm working right now it's, it's not good for that so i mean i do like how you can save your paints for a few days but yeah um well i have a teeny one actually that i've used oh, on occasion yeah, let me see here. Let me see if I can. Oh, do that. Let me see. oh, you have it right there. Yeah, because I was using it when I was doing this one thing. But uh, it's kind of small. Mine, I think mine is the biggest size. I have a big one too, and yeah. it is uh, hard to um, work with that. But this is my little stay wet. The stay, what's, what, what, I can't, what size is that, like 12 by 12? Or I think it's about a 12 by 12, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I might consider that. I might have to get, I might get that. Yeah, I got, let's see, I think I got this at Michael's. Oh, yeah, I'll get it on Amazon. I do have Michael's near me. No Hobby Lobby around here, but I do have Michael's, but I buy everything on Amazon. 
yeah, I do a lot of Amazon shopping too. Um, Michael's, I very rarely go to uh, Hobby Lobby. They just got one in here a couple years ago, and it's been so nice to have that. Did you you say that palette, the small one is a, they call it a Stay Wet or is it a Masterson? It's a Stay Wet palette. Oh, that's stay the wet. brand name called Stay Wet? Stay Wet, yeah. Is your big one a Masterson? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess they come in different, different things, huh? I guess. Oh, I got to check. Can you check the chat? Did Gus Wina say she's, I've been pretty sure she's a big gardener. Let's see. Uh, she didn't respond because uh, the last thing she said is it is very busy on YouTube. Oh, it's very busy? Well, yes. Of course. Well, I'm not surprised. It usually is very busy, except maybe in the middle of the night it's not. Oh, okay. Except in the middle of the night here, of course, it's not in the middle of the night somewhere else in the world. Yeah. I, I can't seem to find, a, a, like, art videos anymore. You know, like, I, I'm surprised. I thought there would be more. What? I'm having a hard time. I don't know. I guess when you I... You ever watch one... Joni Young? I love her. Oh, yeah. She does a lot of good stuff. Oh, and she just, uh, she just answered. She, she answers your questions. She encourages questions. So I just asked her questions last night about the, the dulling of the colors because she, right in the... I mean, right in the middle, I mean, she gives tips while she's painting, like all kinds of tips that like, and it's one of the things she was saying is like, you guys, if you're having problems with dulling of your colors, you got to paint on a gessoed surface. So I just asked the question. I say, I already paint on pre-primed, factory pre-primed gesso. She goes, no, it's better to actually gesso it even on top of that. She goes, your colors are going to come out better. Well, that's, that's worth a try. I guess you know. yeah that's worth a try too well right currently i'm not painting on canvas but right now i'm gonna i'm gonna start gessoing my paper but when yeah, i do I'm... paint on canvas yeah i'm gonna do that but she's almost she's like asmr to me also because her voice is like so she and i like it she doesn't play music in the background and she's like just her calming voice uh-huh I've go. seen some of her stuff too. It's really nice. She does a very lot of nice. nice. Stuff. Like for beginners, yeah. she 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 just like tries to teach you to paint. Like like you look at stuff and a lot of and she breaks it down enough that I think beginners can try to grasp it. Uh huh. But yeah, she's. Uh, what do you mean? You're trying to find you. Well, you were trying. Yeah, I've been like certain things I watch, you know, and then that's all I get bombarded with. So, you know, I have to, like, if I watch a couple videos on um, houses, restoration, house restoration, I get bombarded with all these Oh, houses. I know what you mean. But, but you're trying to, you are, you are, you are trying to find art videos to watch? Yeah. So I have to, uh, I have to get back into looking for those There's again. There's tons of art videos. Oh, God. But I did what, what in particular, you're trying to look at. Like well, what I medium like, in particular? Yeah, nothing in particular. Just to like watch different art videos, you know, like acrylic or you know watercolor, something that I've even looked at uh, some of the um, alcohol ink ones. Oh, you know what? Um, you know Art Sherpa. She's one of the first painters. I, when I started watching YouTube, I was watching Art Sherpa. She's one of the first channels I started watching. Yeah, me but anyway, too. And, but um, so she has like six hundred thousand subscribers on her acrylic tutorial. Oh. But guess what? She just she just started a, a watercolor channel, and she only has se she has seven thousand subscribers on her watercolor channel. Oh wow! So she just yeah she started so she starts she start starting. I mean that's good enough for seven thousand. Still nice, but of course she's gonna have seven thousand with six hundred thousand on her acrylic painting channel. Yeah, well I've, but, I've noticed she does a lot of um, things on Facebook too. Oh, and then on Instagram, she does Instagram live. Oh, really? She's yeah, she really that. tries to put herself out. Did you know her mother is Ginger Cook? Yes. The paint. Yes. The yes. mother. Yes. yes. The, um, that's another. She. I think Ginger Cook is uh, just around a hundred thousand subscribers right now. Maybe she wow. has. Last time I watched about a month ago, she had, she was almost at a hundred thousand. Not yet, but she, maybe wow. she's probably at it right now. Yeah. Yeah. She. Isn't that? She's her name is her mother's name is Ginger, and she's cinnamon. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've watched the, both of them actually. Yeah, well, what? Oh, I I watch. I just have channels that I watch on a regular. I mean, I I don't try to find new channels. I, I do not. I find channels that I like, and I just don't find. I don't. Like I have a channel that I watch for my Procreate Digital, and she actually creates her own digital brushes, and she has her own Facebook group. And I, I watch her. She puts out a video about once a week, and she totally you know, like specializes in the Pro Procreate Digital. And I love watching her. She's another kind of ASMR kind of person to me, the way her voice is. So, uh, and then I, I watch her channel, and then, and then I watched Joni Young for a while, and then I stopped watching it, but I. And then I I go back and forth on watching hers and I don't know. Yeah. And then I don't I don't watch it. Basically, the art channel that I watch the most is my the digital art channel. I I just watch my digital art art channel. The yeah, most. there's um flow that's digital. Uh, there's that ta Taddy Works, I think it's called. But I only gonna, I'm only going to watch them if they do um Procreate. Yeah, they do. They work in Procreate. Then yeah. there's that Lisa Bordeaux. Oh yes, I just I discovered her about a month ago. Yeah, yeah, I discovered her about a month ago. I liked her. She taught me how to um, create my own brushes. I thought that was a huge mystery. And then oh, she yeah. and then after I watched her one video on how to create three digital brushes that night, I created fifteen more of my oh, own. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, Skillshare has a couple of good ones too. I know. I keep forgetting. Yeah, the Art Mother. Yeah, she's really she good. Does, she specializes in digital, right? I yeah. keep forgetting about Skillshare. And then there's that other one too. Um, Even though I'm a paying member now, my free my free thirty days is over. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. So now I'm paying member, and I and I keep forgetting. And I and I was gonna try to. All of a sudden, oh, there's all these deadlines now. These art deadlines coming up. Oh yeah, well you've got and a lot on your plate right now. Michael's laughing at me like deadline. You're retired, deadline. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I have like deadline, and I have to pick and choose what I'm really gonna do, what I'm gonna do now. Yeah, well, that's why I won't get involved in too many things because I can't do it. Look at I, I had a. So I started because there's a couple deadlines just came up that weren't here before i just found out about them like a day or ago and a day or so ago and i'm like oh no that's too many things right now it's too much on my clip now i gotta pick and choose what i'm gonna do i know it's just crazy. and i want to do it all i want to do it all and i'm like no i can't do it all i don't know that's a strange uh phone call from memphis I don't think it's anybody I know. I know I'm waiting for my prescriptions to come in. But I don't think that's from from there. Not from Memphis. No, they're not going to drive all the way up here. They'll leave a message if it's important. Yeah, my dark green is downstairs. Uh oh. I don't feel like going downstairs. Oh. I got, I want to add some dark, and my black is downstairs too. I do, I do have, I got my everything is, and these metallic colors, the way, let me see. I just used the metallic green that I had. I could, the only dark color here is dark purple. Or I have dark blue here. Yeah, I was just, I hadn't watched Jenny Young in a while, and I just watched one of her videos last night, and she she said, you guys, just, life is too short, it, you know, like, don't worry about it, about it looking good, she goes, just have fun with it. And I'm well, like, that's true, you know, that's a true statement, you know, you can't, you have to just have fun, that's what the whole thing is, to have fun with it, it's like anything. But that, it's hard. But then you kind of get in a different mindset when you're like taking it more seriously, like, like. Yeah, when you it's, do. When it's more than a hobby, you kind of, kind of start getting into a different mindset. Mm -hmm. But then you got to remember, because if you got miserable, like I can get miserable about it. And I'm like, that, that's no good being miserable about oh, it. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you don't want Like my husband that. was like. I was just sitting there with on the table with my hands, my my head in my hands on my art table, just sitting there. And he's like, 
oh, you look so miserable. And I'm like, cause like this thing isn't, it's not working out how I wanted the thing. <laughs> like, like some of the paintings I was doing, I'm like, aw. So I know you gotta remember, you gotta, you gotta, like right now, I'm just trying to have fun instead of not, and then, and that, like have fun and not worry. And don't have the emphasis on like, do you think it looks good? Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, have fun with it. I mean, I know, like, when you are doing something for an art exhibit, you want yeah. it to look right. I know yeah. that feeling, too. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, yeah. So, I can understand that. Oh, another tip that she gave, which could may or may not be kind of, like, totally true, is, like, she goes, I encourage my students to paint from their memory. Don't always look at a reference photo. Like paint how you remember because that'll help you get your own, have you develop your own style because you're, when you, when you paint from memory. And oh. Everybody has their own perception of how they remember things. And I thought there there is some truth to that. And I, so I I am going to, there is some truth to that. Like you, like if you are dependent a lot on reference photos, sometimes get maybe try a different like it just gave you an idea to like try something a different way too. Yeah, I guess that's a good idea. You know, I mean, like if, yeah. if you traveled somewhere um, and you remember something from oh, traveling. Yeah. Oh, I know an artist that had her, her whole like um, solo show, which was like her rec her current solo show was all about her memory she did it based on memories of her travel that's exactly what it was it was these little 12 by 12 inch abstract landscapes that that she just did by memories of her travels wow yeah see i i can't i don't remember stuff <laughs> see, i like the, the thing is i try i can paint from i can i can okay so i paint i can i feel like i get limited in what i paint from from what i remember as things and then I, I it limit it's like kind of a little bit limiting because then I look at like then I look at a reference photo and I'm like oh there's that color and that detail I could add like it it actually just opens it up more like yeah oh uh, let me check the chat I oh sorry uh, for that. do you have like thumbs up enough thumbs up for, yeah or I might I might let's say. Oh, yes, 11 thumbs up. Oh, there you go. Oh, Grayscale's leaving. Wait, who's oh, leaving? You leave no, Grace, no, wait, it's Marlene leaving. Did Marlene oh, leave? Grayscale's still here. He heard me talk about Joni Young. He goes, Joni's painting, the people are wonderful. Yeah, she she always is able to paint in person, like, so you don't just have to paint their whole face. Like, she'll paint it so they're looking down and a hat is covering part of their face and it oh, makes it yeah, easy. Yeah. And the way she starts off the figure is, well, like actually this one artist, I was asking them about a tip about painting figures and they said, just start off with a stick figure and then you fill it in. Like, so whatever gesture you want, you start off. And I said, like, that's, that's actually a good idea to try. I, that's how I used to teach my students how to paint. They like start off with a, start off with a stick figure and then, and then you, and then you fill it in. And of course the kids are going to fill it in different than a, an adult. And so that's pretty cool though. Yeah, stick figure. Start out with that. Never gave that a thought. She must have been a teacher at one point too, or somewhere. Maybe, yeah, she might have been, yeah. Okay. Jerry Yarnell. Do you know Jerry Great Jerry. Deal mentioning Jerry Yarnell? Yeah, Jerry Yarnell, he's very good. He goes, he did this on a he he, he said Grayscale said he did that on a show recently, painting from memory. Hi, yeah. uh, Passion for Art still here. Hi, Jesse. Yeah, he, uh, he he paints a lot from memory, I think. Oh, he does? Yeah, he, he well, he, he goes around and he, he just remembers things. I guess he's been everywhere. He said he, has, he can remember stuff. I don't know that I can. See, that's, a, that's no, some people, they're better at that than others to do that. Yeah, yeah I can't remember geez no i can remember to a certain extent but i am so i am going to probably try that technique in a little bit and see see how that goes oh i gotta dry this 
And what are you, and what are you doing, Jesse? Are you eating lunch now, or or what? So what are you doing right now? What are you doing, John? Fuck that one up. Facebook, I bet it's um, Gracie, but I don't know if that, let me check Facebook, who's, who's our viewers on Facebook. Alright, well, you know, Gracie commented before, there's no one there watching now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, she, she said she deleted her YouTube, I think. Yeah, that, that's the second time she's done that. Oh, really? People yes. must really give her a hard time. Mm -hmm. Oh, she commented also on the live video. Let's say, cool. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, I don't know if she's still there or not. One view. Oh yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back to YouTube. Let's see what Jessie's doing. She's still here. She's eating. Oh, you are. Oh, you're eating M and M's. She already had lunch. <laughs> I love M and M's. What? And there's so many different flavors now. What flavor is it? Just regular stamp? I mean, is it just regular M and M's or some or the peanut M and M's? Or they also have they have so many different kinds of M and M's now. I Dark know. Chocolate M and M's. Oh, your your butterfly is coming out good. Yeah, he, I I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> are you enjoying it? See, that's the thing. Are you are you are you enjoying doing it? No, <laughs> no, it's not. no. This is this is not my um. This is just not Wait, my. Wait, the whole thing is watercolor. Yeah, all watercolor. And it's hard one. It's hard for me because I'm not used to doing this kind of thing. Wow. Oh, and so I'm ready for my butterflies now. If everybody was wondering, <laughs> look at this. You're gonna do your butterfly now. I am going to add a little bit more of white in here. And I'm put some See, I could either do one butterfly and my picture will be totally symmetrical, which I have the tendency to make everything symmetrical. I have that tendency. And or I could put a bunch of little butterflies scattered around. What's the chat want? What's the chat say I should do? One one butterfly like that. One big butterfly like that, and then my picture is going to be symmetrical, or a, a, a few little butterflies. I, I'm saying I think a few little butterflies. But this one has designs in it. This one, these ones are just going to be silhouettes, and then I have to paint designs in probably. If I have time, I wanted to add with. I wanted to paint wisteria i wanted to turn these vines into wisteria oh yeah i love wisteria we had i last year i just got rid of one of my wisteria and man that thing go, goes nuts it just and went everywhere nuts? the weird wisteria they go so crazy. oh you had to cut it back yeah oh yeah i cut it i, oh, cut I, it I, I don't have much experience with i don't even know that i've seen with i mean i've i don't think i've seen wisteria in person i don't know but but I love lilac bushes. Oh, they smell oh yeah, so good. lilacs, azaleas. Love those ones too. I'm going to. So even though this is going to make my picture symmetrical, this one has designs. Well, I could make designs on these other butterflies, but. Oh, okay, I'll go with a little butterfly. Uh, 
A bunch of little butterflies. Oh, that would be cute. Still working with the cool colors, and I'm gonna have stuff left over after this. I'm probably gonna have to paint with this after after the show is over. I'm gonna continue painting today, I suppose. I did not paint yesterday. I did a little bit of digital art, but I didn't do any acrylic painting yesterday or Saturday, I don't think. And, I, and then on Friday, I painted like 10 hours on Friday. Did you? Oh my gosh. Thursday or Friday was a huge productive creative day. I forget it was Thursday or Friday. I can't paint that long. It will kill me. <laughs> it just, uh. Well, what if you took, if you, is it because you just, I mean, you took, you could take breaks or you still couldn't? Yeah, I usually, um, I can paint about an hour to two hours. Uh, with me sitting, I can paint a little bit longer, but if I'm standing, I can't, I can't paint that long. It just, um, does Yeah, I was, in. I'm sitting the whole time when I do that. Yeah, well, oh, that's good. Yeah, but, I'm sitting now, so. So if you were sitting, you could paint that long? I think I could paint a little bit longer. I don't think I could do that long, though. Yeah, I started uh, in the morning, all afternoon, late in into the night oh my goodness i can't do that every day i can't yeah, do that every day i was like and then and then saturday we always go out at three and then i and then it's like so that i didn't have the chance to on saturday and sunday i didn't feel like it i could have on sunday afternoon and sunday night and i didn't feel like it yeah yes that's what happens you get like uh you got like a you know got life too that comes into play well, I'm not real crazy about this, but it's okay. So, I'm not sure. I have a stencil that has a butterfly. Let's see. I'm not sure how this will fit. Let's see if Jesse answered. What kind of M and M's is she eating? Oh, she said chocolate. Oh yeah, I, yeah. Usually, they, well, but they have different kinds of chocolate. They have chocolate caramel M and M's. They have dark chocolate. They have chocolate. No, oh, so she's probably just eating the plain chocolate ones, the ones that don't have nuts in them, whatever, like that. Yeah, I like the chocolate ones better too. So Ray Stell says we give him a lot of ideas. We do. How do we give you a lot of ideas? What ideas do we give you? I like, I love it when I'm inspirational. Gracie always says I'm inspirational to her. I, I, like, I always like that. I always like it if I can be it that, cause that is like trying to be the, that's like the, the mission of my YouTube channel, trying to be inspirational. So you like my big, ugly butterfly, Grace Dale, cause this looks terrible to me. No, it, Yours thing looks like no. Yours is like a fantasy. Your yours is like a cross between a moth and a butterfly. It's like a fantasy insect. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting. No, I love yeah. how the background. I love that soft focus background. Yeah. Against uh, contrasted with a hard edged um, butterfly. Yeah. That's the one thing. The placement of it on the and then. The placement on the paper is very nice. And then you painted the antenna very fine line. That's very nice. Yeah, that was hard because the one got a little screwed up there. Um, so I have this big one, but I don't think it's going to fit on my... Oh, it might. It might fit on my watercolor cards. Well, it just fits. I don't know. It just fits. So... Wait, Grace, are we giving you an idea for what? What, for painting a butterfly? Is that what he's, I don't know what he's saying. And then Passion for Art says she likes butterflies and unicorns. Yeah, so do I. I always have butterflies. I love to, I, in my artwork, I always love to incorporate butterflies and, and or birds. I yeah. like unicorns, but I don't, I, I actually don't paint. I, I think in the past year, I painted a unicorn once. I painted a unicorn. It's, it's way back in the beginning of my art starting. Uh, it, it's a unicorn. And um, that really turned out nice. It was actually, um, I took it from a horse and I just put the unicorn thing on it. It really turned out nice. But yeah, unicorns are interesting. 
Well, I could I could do a background, but I'm not sure. Do you have any ideas for what the subject of using Jessup for brightening acrylic? Oh, that one. He didn't know that one. So that's the one you said. The subject of using gesso for brightening acrylic. You. Did, that's the one you said. Yeah. And the use of great gesso. That was you. That idea came from you. That yeah, idea you... came from grayscale. You. Okay. You know what else is if you um, instead of like putting a. Uh, a background you know like if you start your painting you put yeah. like um raw sienna or something like a wash of raw sienna yeah you could put like orange i did that when i did the uh what do you mean an orange background yeah put the orange on the canvas first and then paint over that and that that orange will come through it pops oh, through the painting i did that with red so no so i did a dark i did a red background with for green because that for green, all the spoilage thing that uh -huh. I did before so that's a very good complimentary the green on top of the red yeah so that's yes right. orange or red or even this this to the um the yellow ochre that could, might could show through the yellow like warm color like yellow ochre is a good neutral or the orange or the raw sienna mm -hmm. or uh, or lizard and crimson can be good backgrounds and then all, all those warm colors peek through yeah and it does it really it bright it helps to brighten things up too oh okay um well, just probably raw can sienna. it be orange because i don't have raw sienna but i could mix my own raw sienna i guess with brown and orange are you saying i should mix brown and orange and create like a raw sienna yeah you could do that but i i think that like the orange or just something the orange like by a, itself is good enough yeah like just making that background because raw sienna is kind of it's nice but it doesn't really make things pop like okay good because i don't have raw sienna but i do have orange yeah orange really makes it pop Okay. I learned the raw sienna uh, in an art class that I took, but. Um, oh yeah, I know about raw sienna. I mean, I used to own raw sienna, burnt sienna, raw sienna. I used to yeah. own those colors. Those are kind of like classic colors. I just don't have them at the moment. Yeah, those are, um, I use that a lot. What, the raw sienna? Yeah raw burnt and raw umber uh, those are all shades of like pretty much what when you want brown to me well yeah I like using it in a lot of my paintings yeah Maybe i'll just put these little things down here i don't know what this is considered I like my back. You guys like my background music? Yeah, it's that's from Stream Yard. Pretty interesting. Now they give you a couple different ones. Yes, yeah, so you can. Uh, there's pop. I mean, there's rock. Very rock. Like very rock guitar rock. Um, dance. The dance one. Is, I don't think that sounds too dancey to me. This one is um. This one they're calling. It's the first choice. This one they're calling um. Cinematic. I, to me, it doesn't sound cinematic. It sounds like um, like wind. It kind of like sounds like ethereal wind chimes or something. Yeah, yeah. I can always change it. I can change it to rock. Well, that's it, up to you. That sounds nice, though. I like it. Oh. Yeah. Well, dang it. Okay. Let's try this again. Grayscale always says that in his videos, like, okay, having fun, just have fun with it. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. Having fun with it. I'm just having fun with it. <laughs> having fun. You said they making a mess. Like some people say, just make a mess. Have fun making a mess. It's like, yeah. All right. So I guess I will have another interview. This interview will be on Saturday evening. That's a musician. She wrote got back to me. 
Just she's now. a musician, you said? Yeah, she's no, a I thought The advertisement that you just put out, I thought was an artist. Yeah, that's on Sunday. Mm. Okay, it, there are two artists that are actually going to be on. They're, they uh, work together? I, they're a collaborate? They're a collab? Yeah, they're collaborating uh, for an art exhibit. So she asked if it was okay to have her on with her. And I said, yeah, because I don't mind that. You know, I think it gets more interesting that way. Yeah. That'll be interesting. Yeah, so. Okay. I got to give her some links, this woman. She might not do this because she wants to see my interviews. So <laughs> I don't know if she's going to like them or not. Some of these musicians get a little... Range yeah. So let's see here. Waiting for this to dry, I'm going to look up some facts about butterflies. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to do some. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to figure something out. I got to get the background in there. camera vertical would show better oh, i'm gonna try to turn my back my camera vertical because okay. right now because i have no oh, let's see what happens it would show my page my whole page better what, what happened no that did not help oh no that's that's went horizontal that's kind of weird yeah that looks pretty i like your little butterflies thank you i, I was going to put designs in them but i have to wait for them to dry i just you can't you see i can't even get all on camera so I know. that's the hard part like here um i have this thing up way up but you can't really see close, you know. Oh, if I pulled back, I could say, show more. Okay, hold on. Let me make my. That just reminded me. I could make this. I yes, asked, make it my camera higher. Okay, now it's going to show more. Well, you're working on a small thing, so again. Yes. Your, your thing fits easily. Okay, as high as I can get, which is not too much higher. That's a bit. That's about as high. That's as high as I can get there. Well, that's a little bit better. You can see it more. Yeah, you Maybe can't you see can my own. The big oh, butterfly. Can you turn your um, book like horizontally? No, I can't. No, I can't. Not because of my workspace. I can't do that. Can't. Yeah, okay. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Rayfield what says he feels out of sorts today. Do he you? Didn't, he didn't. He did. He didn't stir the pot today. Yeah, Thank that's you. Thank you. Because whenever you stir the pot, it's all. It's all aimed at me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was wondering. I was thinking about. Man, he's not being too uh, crazy today. <laughs> Thank you. Because it, it's always aimed at me <laughs> poor diane uh. <laughs> what is he with the oh, yes. it guy helping us with our tech problems in the beginning an it guy and a gesso instructor <laughs> so what seems to be the problem today he's laughing now that he's out of sorts 
a lot. Sometimes you don't even know why. But do you know why, Grace? Do you know why if you're out of sorts? Oh. I feel like that too. A lot of times, Mondays are hard. I used to hate Mondays when I worked. Ugh. Oh yes, right. I, I hated right. it. Yeah. Grayscale says he's listening to you, ladies. He he says listening to you, ladies, gives me I oh yeah for his video gives me his ideas for video tutorials. Which I think I already said that. Okay. Well, I want to watch the one when when you were teaching the flowers again. I'm gonna watch that. That. Those are really cool. I'd like to try that. Yes, when he does that, you have to, if you really want to do it, you have to feel it really follow along step by step. Yes, yes. Those are so pretty. I did follow along. Actually, there's, I followed along, not on his, any of his floral ones, but I followed along on one of his misty forest ones, misty uh -huh. mist in the woods. And I sold that grayscale. I sold it to Lisa B at my art auction in December. No kidding. The mist in the woods. Oh, the mist yeah, in the yeah, woods. Yeah. That's the one I followed along on your tutorial grayscale. And I sold it in December to Lisa B. Yeah, it's not the only one I sold. I sold them. Let's say Lisa B bought that one, and and then Paul the bought Paul. two others. Yeah. I sold a whole two. That's what I said to that guy that I can't sell any of my paintings. I don't know. Maybe they. That's because you have to keep keep putting yourself out there and out there and out there and out there and and yeah. And and you're supposed to like never give up. But but the thing is, don't give up. But the, you got to tweak it. Like if you you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again either. So don't give up. But like tweak it, pivot tweak it like do something different Loose but, keep, but don't tweak. yes like tweak it and make something about what you're doing different instead of like doing don't keep doing the same thing over and over again somehow tweak it and like that yeah well yeah i guess um like i'm doing animals a lot maybe i need to change my format a little bit Oh, that's pretty. I'm because using. The I think that you guys were having issues, and it it was re, it was reminding me of my nightmares. Oh, he says he's he's out of sorts because of that. Oh, you, you don't seem to have any problems, Grace. Girl, you do such a good job. If I if it wouldn't have been for you, I wouldn't even understand how to do some of this stuff. Yeah, you have your help. Yes, you should um feel good about helping us my goodness we're helping and helping mary yeah. <laughs> me who who uh took masters a master's program in information systems can't figure out how to use a camera <laughs> <laughs> but things have changed so significantly oh yeah they're changing all the time great yeah, I, mean, I remember that when he, he says he's referring to when i did that tutorial and you did an excellent job on it thank you Oh, Masha for Art says, at the end of the live stream, she forgot to unmute the microphone from the headphones again. Ah, she's laughing. Oh, no. Unmute. She forgot to unmute the microphone. Are you saying, wait, Passion for Art, are you saying that, it, that you were muted at, you were muted at, at the end of your live stream? Okay, let's see if we change the music to rock. Let's see, maybe Mary, Mary really like, I mean, I like rock too, but Yeah, let's, I'm a let's blues see. and rock person. Okay, let's try it. But it really is like. Okay.
It's just kind of a basic wreck or whatever. Yeah. And none of these have vocals, it's just all in. Yeah, it's just a bunch of drums. Oh, I thought it had guitar, guitar in there, does it? Oh, yeah, there's some guitar in there, but the drums, you can hear the drum beat. Oh, there, it's changing a bit. art like different ways so that like so when the art that I really do want it to look good I want it to work I want the art to work you know what I mean I'm actually mm -hmm. in a zoom class a weekly zoom class it's a small zoom class where we get critiques by the instructor like all like all class long like as soon as he, he gives us like we we can it's our own independent work and we show it we can we show we can show them up to five pieces or so and then he gives it he he tells us what what's working and what he thinks is working and not working and then that's so it's so helpful to me like being back to having that having that feedback that and then um mm -hmm. then he, and then you, it goes on for two and a half hours and then you work on it and you make some changes that he maybe he suggested and then and then you show him and all throughout the class you can show him as many times as you want like the changes that you made it and now i forget what i was going to say about that but his his critiques no, some. Well, no. How helpful it is. Yeah, but I forget. I said I forget what my point was gonna be. Well, I'll probably remember it. I'll remember it in a few minutes. <laughs> that sounds like me, Diana. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't remember. But so I, I know. Um, Sylvia, Beaming and Sylvia calls it old lady brain. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't play my happy dance. Oh, there you go. Them. Yeah, I forgot all about that. And this one's called the dance pop. Dance pop. Okay. Just a minute, trying to get the happy dance. trying to make okay yeah. so there there i'm trying to make art that works that i could that i could enter into shows and stuff that's going to work art that works uh -huh. the other. but when i get tired of like spending so much time too much time on that or so much time then i do art that's just fun 
Oh yeah, yeah. That like, helps. like some both can go together. Like sometimes they both go together. Like actually, the art that I try to make that works is can be calming. It can be calming, but it can also be frustrating. It can be frustrating and be calming. But then after a while, then I, like I just like then I do art where it's like okay, it doesn't matter. I I just want to learn a new technique or something. Like I might watch a video and learn a new technique. Yes. That's that's what I kind of like when I get like um, tired of doing stuff. I'll I'll watch a video. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm constantly if I'm not reading about it, I'm watching something. You know. What about art? Yeah. Oh yeah. If you're not if you're not doing something, if you're not doing art, you're watching a video about it or reading about it. Yeah, I'll read something. Oh. Yeah like you know different techniques and stuff but you're not trying to enter your art in any art shows or anything no not right now because like i said that lady that did the exhibits and stuff like that and then there's one place that i do belong to um i haven't i haven't tried to enter anything because the, i don't want to have to travel too far yeah you know that's the, that was the other uh issue too i just got tired of driving yeah Yeah, there's a show. See, that's where I have a dilemma because there's a show I just found out about yesterday that it's at our local art center, which is, I have two local art centers and they're very easy to get to, very, very uh -huh. easy to get to and no big deal. Whereas another art show that I was going to enter is in Philadelphia and that's harder to get to. And Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it just takes more it. time. It, it requires a train and a taxi or train. Yeah, I take ta train and a taxi because it's once you're at 30th Street train station, it's very hard to pick up an Uber there. It's like it's dominated by taxis. And oh, if you try okay. to pick up an Uber, I've tried it before. You have to like know what where you don't know where they're trying to pick you up at. It's like, where's the meeting place? It's oh. like it's very like they can try to tell you where the meeting place is, but it's very like tenuous. It's just I don't like that. I, I'd rather the taxis yeah. are all lined up, ready to go. And I just prefer getting the taxi and then coming back. I might get an Uber because guess what? You cannot hail down a taxi in Philadelphia. You try if, if you're on a Philadelphia street and trying to, you cannot hail down a taxi. I've tried it. You cannot. Is that right? So oh, if wow. you're at the destination and you got there already, now, guess what? You, you, the only reliable thing is calling Uber to come pick you up. Oh, wow. So all of that is kind of all a pain in the butt. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's annoying. And actually they're having the same juror. I was so surprised. I'm like, let me see who the juror is for this, our local art center. Oh my goodness. It's the same juror who's going to be at the, uh, the other one that I was going to try to apply for. But this one, the, the, the deadline would, would have been, would be march 27th and uh -huh. then i just have to have you can submit up to two paintings and it has to be paintings it can't be digital art can't be digital art uh -huh. so that's why I, i've been my focus for several months was on my digital art now i'm switching gears and and i'm not i'm not totally i know i may or may not be ready i just don't know if i can get I together understand. they won't take digital art some shows do, but not every show. I'm saying like, actually the two shows that I just told you about for March, that for Women's History Month, I'm in two shows. They accept digital art, but not every show does. Cause actually this lady who's the juror, she's a paint, well, it's painting. It, it's called their paint, their annual painting exhibition. Uh huh. So that's why, that's why it has to be, it, it, I mean, I don't even know if it can be collage. I don't know, it has to be painting like watercolor or acrylic or oil or something. Mm -hmm. It, it does have to be painting because they call it their painting, their 79th annual painting exhibition. Whereas the other one that's in town, in in the city, it's like they don't call. That's just their annual summer shower, jury show or something. And that one, uh, that doesn't. I don't know why they would have to make that. That's just their own decision. It could be because of the juror. The juror might like say, no, I don't want to look at digital art. You know, it could be up to the juror too. I don't know. Yeah, isn't that something? It's not every show. It's just like, you know, some shows are like that. And some, some shows accept digital art and some shows don't. Uh-huh. I mean, I know like um, when I tried out for this one um, 
organization. I was upset because they they have photographers in it when it's supposed to be artists, you know, but. There are, well, it depends. Art, photography is, what do you mean, just the artist? It, well, it, it, to me, it sounded like it was just art, artists, but photography, like you say, is considered an art form, and I didn't think about it that way um, back then when I tried out for that organization. Needless to say, I didn't get in it, but <laughs> well, I never tried out again for it. Oh, um, yeah, so like this, at the one at my local art center, they specifically said, no, no this, no that. And it's like, no photography, no digital art, no this, no that, that. They, they want specifically painting because that's what they entitle it. Their 79th painting, 79th annual painting exhibition. Oh, I see. Okay. It's gray skill. When I did the rainbow rose painting, yeah, that was pretty. I didn't mean to be political or representative of anything. I forgot that the rainbow represents, yeah, LGBTQ. Yeah, you gotta watch that rainbow thing. Yeah, I guess when you're painting. What about um, it? He didn't make anything derogatory. No, I don't. I don't think he did. He just. He uh, painted it that way. Well, nobody gave you a hard time. Nobody gave you a hard time, did they? He's acting like somebody who, who would give you a hard time since it wasn't even like a derogatory image. Nobody yeah. gave you a hard time, did they, Grayscale? It's hard to do anything anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. And don't even get me started because I'm not even talking. I can't talk about this publicly. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> about how I, about, I'll talk about to you off camera about the art, about something about this art fellowship that I'm applying, that I applied for. I, okay, yeah. I won't know the decision until around June 1st, but the debt that I had applied for it. So uh -huh. I will talk to you off camera about this. Okay about the the state of the art world oh i can imagine and that used to be something you could you know say anything about uh but yeah you have to be so careful about everything today Oh, a white marker that works. White markers are horrible the way they, Posca is supposed to be very, and I used to love Posca, but I found out that Posca, so my Posca markers, so this, well, this, oh wow, this marker, white marker is working really good. I've had, had issues, markers. I've had issues with mine too. They, they I don't have know what long it is. lives, that's the thing, they're very short lived lives. Yeah, they, um, I don't know what happens to them. They like uh, get watery or something. Oh, mine, they just don't work. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, now I want to hold on to that white marker and keep it aside because that one, will, that one's a, that one that one's a keeper. <laughs> that one's a work one. <laughs> It works. He personally forgot. I didn't get. He didn't get any hard times or anything. No, the opposite. It was well, re, well received, well reviewed. He oh, just well, personally good. forgot. No, um, no, no, that's not. That might be my prescription. Hold on. 
Hello? Yes. Sure, that'll be fine. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, she's going to be here in about 20 minutes. What, she dropping off your prescription? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the pharmacy or your daughter? No, my pharmacy. Yeah, they deliver. Um, when you're, nice. Yeah, it's nice when you're um, retired like I am. <laughs> yeah, they, we, they offer us delivery too, and I... Do they? I, I don't, I just don't take, I just don't take it. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it uh, saves a lot. Well, I don't know where I'd go because it's through UPMC. So I don't even know where I would go to actually get uh, my prescriptions. I used to have them delivered before, too, before I went into this Medicare thing. I guess, actually, it's probably time for us to wrap up anyways. Yeah. I guess we have to stop it. Oh, I was going to read. Oh, I forgot. I was going to read facts about butterflies. Oh, yeah. We got into it. We got into it. Oh, hi, Angel Fine Art. Abstract Art. Thank you. Angelie, Angelie Fine Art. Come back. Yes, she Hello. does that kind of art where you you drop the paint. You, I mean, you drop you drop drops of acrylic paint all over your substrate, it's like drops. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? You don't even use the palette. You just drop all them all over. Drop them all over the the strub, the canvas. Uh huh. And then most of the time, she uses a can a, a palette knife and creates like a, usually ab abstract landscape. Wow. Wow. Okay, I guess that 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 wraps up our two hours. Yeah, that could Thank you guys for being here on a, on a, the, what we had to make the change instead of being here on a Tuesday at one p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We had to be here. We had to be here on uh, Monday. Okay. That we had to make the change. Oh yeah, because because uh, Mary's husband's birthday is this tomorrow or tomorrow. sometime this week. Tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. So we're gonna go out, and um, I just figured we wouldn't be home in time. You know, well. It'll be the afternoon that we go out, so I didn't want to screw up our time. And that's funny because just two weeks, two weeks before that was my husband's birthday. Yeah. Then I had to cancel on. I had to change the date on a Tuesday because it was. Oh, both so both our husbands are Pisces. Yeah, and my daughter is on the twenty-sixth of this month. My youngest well, she's, daughter. That's, she's not Pisces then. She's no. on. What's that? Aries. Aries. Yeah. And then, so I'm a fire sign. You're fire sign Leo. I'm fire sign Sagittarius. So we're fire, both fire signs married to water sign Pisces. Is that, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's better. See, the, the fire and water signs should stay together. They understand each other because they're feeling signs, whereas the air and earth signs are more thinking signs. Something like it. That, that's just a theory that I read about. So, it's better that water and fire and fire, water and fire, they be together instead of earth, earth and air. They should stay together and fire and water. They should be stay together. Ah, okay. Interesting. Well, we've been together for a while, so I guess, I yeah. guess we're, we're hitting it off pretty good. What, more than, was it more than 20 something years? Yeah, 29 years. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah 29 years. It was in February. 29 years. Yeah, it's a long time. It sure is. Yeah, ten years. I mean, we just celebrated ten years last year, and that's a long. Time. Yeah, I mean, it, goes but it so went fast. fast. We're like ten years already. Yeah, it goes so fast. You know, it's it's hard to believe. I mean, uh, how how it flies. Then we look at each other and we see how time is flying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a, you know, it goes so darn fast. But um, this was fun. Uh, doing okay. butterflies. Yeah, I like happy butterflies. National Learn About Water. Well, I mean, well, Happy National Learning About Butterfly Day. Yeah, Happy Butterfly Day. 
Thank you guys for being here. Um, uh, let's see, the passion for art, great scale painting. And uh, he was the oh, last morning Gasuina. TV had been, oh, what was that? Gaswina was here. Gaswina, yes. And um, the, who was that last one that you were saying? Angel Fine Art. Angel Fine Art. Yeah, Marlene, Marlene, Marlene TV had been here. That's right, Marlene. Yeah, we had a nice little turnout. Yeah. Well, kind of a, less than usual because I think that we're, cause we're a, a day to our time. Our day because it was Monday. Well, hopefully next week we'll be here on Tuesday. Yeah, hopefully next Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. That, that we do this again, even though we each have like premieres or live streams coming up before them. Like Mary has two premieres that one Saturday, one Sunday with her interviews on her channel. Yes, it's 7 p.m. And uh, well, I, I'm still not certain about this one lady, but uh, we'll see. Is that supposed to be a live stream? Uh, no, she's uh, if she wants to do a live stream, I, I kind of like to do the musicians live because then that way if they want to play any music, ah. they can. But um, she wanted to look at my interviews, so I'm not sure. You know, sometimes, wait, she sent, I don't know if she's, no, she didn't send back. I, I sent her the link to look at it. But I can't, you know, it's hard to wait too long because I got to get it a advertised and everything. Yeah. So you have to give her a deadline. Well, it was yesterday was the deadline. <laughs> Today she oh. responded. Yeah. So. Oh, everybody. Okay, we'll see you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Have a good week, and maybe we'll see you this weekend. Are you doing your trivia this week? That, that's always up in the air. Most likely, yes. Most likely, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. All righty, guys. Bye.